Welcome to Michael Campbell's Money Talks. I'm Grant Longhurst. We're joined today by Greg Myers, the President and CEO of CASA, CASA Gold. CASA is uh, exploring in Mexico and we're very pleased to have him with us today. Thanks for joining us. Now, Greg, the gold market's been tough to follow. Lots of people saying the bull's still in place, but some downs, how far down. Your group, do you pay attention to what's happening to the gold price? How does it affect the strategic choices that you make at CASA as an explorer? Well, we do watch, and it's mostly how it's going to affect the markets and how we need to think about raising money or how it's going to affect our share price and not panic about things. Uh, it's been uh, one thing that you look for in the longer market that you interpret is how it might affect the prices of projects that you're looking to acquire, too. So those are the kind of the ways we, we try to assess what it is. So that M&A activity does have a direct correlation to what you're seeing in your sort of six-month projections for the, for the gold market? Yeah, a lot of time you'll see companies that haven't prepared for the downturn, and they're not funded, and they reach the point where it's getting very difficult for them to fund. Right. And so those are the guys that you kind of watch, especially if they have interesting projects and you realize that they're having difficult times. They're, uh, they're quite often open to joint ventures or other, other ways to get themselves out from underwater. Right. Now, in terms of your assessing projects, you're specifically working in Mexico. Uh, in this marketplace, are you still actively looking at, at new projects? Yeah, we're always looking, and we're not just in Mexico. We're looking in all of Latin America. We've just made some big acquisitions in Nicaragua and I'm looking at projects uh, in Colombia and Peru. So there's, you know, if there's a good project, we want to take a look. We want to make sure that nothing's going to slip by that we haven't at least thought about. Right. Now within your group is the uh, Endeavor, uh, which is a silver uh, specific producer. Mm -hmm. um, is your sense going forward that CASA will stay gold focused or will you look at potentially moving into other precious metals or, or other opportunities? Well, we're going to stay gold focused. We may move into base metals a little bit like copper gold systems, something like that because that's an opportunity and a big part of my my history in geology has been on copper gold systems. So, you know, it's a natural progression for us to move into. And that sense about copper gold, is that also driven to a certain degree by the market for copper being where it is? Yeah, and, and that's kind of the opposite side of where the little slide on gold is going. Right. Copper is so strong right now, projects are getting very expensive. So you're seeing a lot of projects that were kind of uh, borderline economic in the past that all of a sudden you can look at them and say, hey, there's something here that we can do something with. Now, one of the things that our uh, audience has noticed over the years is there does seem to be a disconnect in terms of gold pricing and share price in the junior markets. Um, but if I understand you correctly, it sounds like that price point still remains important in terms of the decision making that, that you make at the, at the exploration level. Yeah, I think it, it, it is at least something that we think about as we move forward and try to evaluate companies and projects. Great. Thanks very much. Well, thank you. And thanks for joining us on Michael Campbell's Money Talks and moneytalks.net, bringing you the finest in independent financial thinking.